We're going to preview three races uh, at the tail end of the Breeders' Cup. We're going to start with the Turf Mile. The betting is, broadly speaking, Ribchester, top rated in Europe, around the 3-1 to one shot. Uh, Derek uh, and Smith and the gang all have roly-poly, 6 or 7-1. to one. The best is probably the Woodbine winner, uh, uh, World Approval, um, and Lancaster Bombers in there. What, what catches your eye there? Well, the one thing, Mark Cassidy, I mean, he, he is, he's a, an unbelievable trainer. He is like the Aidan O'Brien in America now. He started in Canada, and he, he, he dominated and still does dominate. And he started to work his way down to America, and he's 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 very, very much a big player now, and in the Breeders' Cups as well. You know, um, Johnny you, Velasquez. You'd favour him. I'd favour him, Johnny Velasquez. He won't have to travel too far either. You know, um, he he'd been he'd have been mapped out for this race, whereas. The likes of Ridchester wouldn't have been, I think, as a second thought, you know. Yes, and he's at long side. Brennan Duke, uh, of our own parish here in the Racing Post, what do you fancy? I think I'm being talked out of back in Ribchester. You, you were saying last week, and Kieran mentioned it there, with the long season he's had, and it's more the draw. I've been talking to my spies yeah. in America, and even by American turf track standards, Delmar is a really tight track. So to be drawn 10. I think it's going to take a worldie of a ride. If Buick actually wanted to watch a template to do this, you can watch Frankie last year on Queen's Trust, who somehow managed from a wide draw to get okay. two if off. If not Ribchester, who? I'll go with that world of brew. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll pass over the juvenile. I'm told Bolt Doro, uh, two w wins at Del Mar, really great time at Santa Anita last time. We want to go to the, the, the turf race. Now, for a lot of people, Karen. You spoke about Highland Reel. He is the banker for a lot of people. I spoke to Aidan recently. He was really pleased with the run on soft ground at Ascot. Didn't suit him. Stayed on to be third. He's he's a hundred percent ready. He's on Lasix. Some question about Ulysses. It's ten to one bar two. What do you like? Um, I was surprised that Ulysses wasn't on Lasix. You know because I think I think it's very important. You know obviously, Sir Michael. You know is a genius. He knows what he's doing. But uh, and he probably thinks that he's not going to benefit from the the Lasix. But um, as you can see, Highland Real, what he done last year was amazing, and the style of his racing, if he's allowed to do what he done last year, he'll take all the beating. Would you oppose him? You couldn't oppose him if he, if, if Ryan rides him the way the way Shamey rides him. I think it'd be hard to beat. I think Shamey gets the right shoe now. This horse, um, it was fantastic what happened last year, and. With the Lasix, he's a serious horse. He'll suit the track because it's a sharp track, and he's going to. If he's not going to make the running, he's going to be handy, and that's what that's that, that's the key to the race. Is he opposable, uh, Brendan? I will oppose him. I I, I think Ulysses, uh, even even without the Lasix, he's got a good draw. There should be some competition for the lead for Highland Real. The Oscar performance is drawn 14. He'll have to go forward from that draw. So I'd say Ulysses, who sat much handier in the arc than he normally mm. does, will sit handier, sit fourth or fifth stock and hopefully pounce in the straight. Okay, despite Brendan, I'm telling you, Highland Real has it won already. Let's turn to the classic. Not such a strong representation for Europe here. Now, Gunrunner is the two's favourite. He's run three times over 10 furlongs. He's lost each time. There's a question about his stamina here. Arrogate, superstar last year, the way he wore down uh, the front runner. What do you like? Yeah. Well, if Churchill I don't know, is, is he on Lasix? Is Churchill on Lasix? I assume yes. so, I assume so. If, if, if he does, he's, he's a serious horse. Arrogate hasn't been in the same form. As you said, gun runner isn't his best trip, but he's at the top of his game. But, you mean, Churchill was always held in high regard by the cool more team. And if he's on Lasix... Has he been a bit disappointing since Ascot? He has, but it's like everything else, you know. He, Aiden has that gift, he'll be able to... He can take him back. If he can get him back to his best, and with the, I think the Lasix will make a big difference for this horse. He could be a different horse in Del Mar. Okay. Bob Baffert has three of the first four in the betting. Mm. He has the best rated three-year-old West Coast, and he has collected who beat Arrogate. What do you fancy? I fancy Gunrunner. I think Arrogate, Arrogate is worth his rating as the best horse in the world, but it looks like Dubai bottomed him. Because, as Kieran said, from, from his time in America, gate speed so important. It was such a massive run in Dubai. Blew the start, had to run down Gunrunner, who's the second best horse in America. But it looks like it's taken a savage toll on him. 
and I don't think he'll be the same horse. So Gun, gun Runner would be very hard to beat. That concludes our Racing Post special video cast. Our thanks to Kieran Fallon. And remember, uh, tomorrow at 12.30 in the Easton's here in O'Connell Street, uh, Kieran will be doing a signing. So why not pop along, buy a book, and meet Kieran then. Good luck with your punting this weekend uh, and at the Breeders' Cup, both at uh, Nace and Cork at the weekend. Enjoy it all.